Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn how to add a button to a form. Without a submit button on your form, visitors will not be able to send you the information or selections they have entered onto your web page. When someone clicks the Submit button on your page, the information is sent to the form handling script, which will be located on your web hosting server. It is always a good idea to include a Reset or Clear button next to the Submit button so that people can clear their choices if they make a mistake and need to start over. To begin, insert a form container into your web page using techniques from previous lessons, and make sure that the Insert panel is set to Forms. Next, click inside the form container where you want to place a button. Then click the button icon found in the Insert panel. The Input Tag Accessibility Attributes dialog box opens. Type in a one-word description for this button into the ID text field. I'm going to type Submit. The button will speak for itself, so there's no need to type a label for it into the Label text field. Click OK to confirm your selections. If you see a pop-up window asking if you want to add a form tag, click Yes. You can check the Don't Show Me This Message Again option if you want to automatically add a form tag every time, which is a good idea. You will see a Submit button appear in the form container in your document window. To rename the button, first click on it. Next, click and drag to highlight the current name in the Values text field in the Properties Inspector. Type in a new button name. I'm going to type Send, and then press the Enter key. You will see that the text on your button changes to reflect your choice. To add a Reset or Clear button, first click to place your mouse cursor in the form container where you want to put the button. Let's put a Reset button next to the Send button. Click on the button icon from the Insert panel. The Input Tag Accessibility Attributes dialog box opens. I'm going to type Reset into the ID text field and click OK. The new button appears in the form container. You will see that the button currently reads Submit. To change the text, click on the button to select it, and then click and drag to highlight Submit in the Value text field in the Properties Inspector. Type in Reset, and then hit the Enter key. The text on the new button changes to Reset. Next, click on the Reset Form Radio button in the Properties Inspector to indicate that clicking on this button will reset the form once it's been uploaded to your web hosting server. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.